Welcome back, everybody. My name's Crane Bramp. You're all Brainiacs, and this is episode two of Forever Skies. It is a post-apocalyptic survival series where you're building your own airship, and it's pretty freaking cool. So we're looking out over the ruined landscape of Earth right now. You can see these green, like, dune-like things. I believe that that is the alien dust that coats the Earth. I'm not sure if an alien drug dealer came by and they had a crash shipment or what happened, but, you know, we're here and we're trying to survive, so... Anyway, if you're new here, welcome in. Regardless, man, uh, if you could give the video a like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. It helps the channel. But, uh, you know, either way, man, kick back. We're going to have a good time today. So uh, what I wanted to talk about was in between episodes. So I have a tendency with new games, and this happened in episode one, to concentrate on, yeah, go do things. Look at the pretty shiny things. Look, a squirrel. And thus I died from starvation. I also realized we didn't have many resources. So I took a moment <laughs> and uh, I made some storage. I kind of moved the room around a little bit to get these two pads back, moved the engine, uh, rearranged this. I slept. Um, we have so many synthetics that I don't even know what to tell you. We got a couple of hundred metal um, and then, yeah, uh, a poster. And then some batteries. So I think we're doing really good at the moment. I'm slept up. I am fully healed up. I'm almost uh, completely full. And uh, we've got water sitting in here. We've got dirty water sitting in here. I have three. Uh, as soon as this gets empty, I'll refill this with the dirty water and then refill that empty bottle with dirty water, and then we just start the process again. Also, in between, so when you drop the insect lure to get food, uh, it may seem kind of obvious, but I need to note that you can't do it on like a platform. It has to have room to drop. So what I do is in between these communication stations, I've been just kind of stopping and if I need materials or anything like that, I get it, but I make sure and drop down the lure. Uh, every insect lure seems to be good for three creatures. So I make an insect lure, do three in between, eat and sleep, and that seems to work good. So anyway, enough of Gavin, let's check this out. It's a new location, said that there's new stuff to scan. And I do see some stuff over here, I'm not quite sure what this is copper okay that'll work uh so a rainwater collector and advanced insect lure not a regular lure folks an advanced one all right well at least we're pointed the right way on the deck extractor i can get all that all right looks like we have something to scan Wrecked location radar. Ooh, nice. What are these? Helium. Expand balloon, helium fuel, and balloon core. Hey, I'm always down for some expansion. All right, so I don't see anything else here. All right, this little shack, circuit board, some machine parts. Motherboard, extractor, and circuit board. So some new blueprints. I guess they're called blueprints. Just assuming because that's kind of what they are. Don't see anything else. Uh -huh. I have learned to look everywhere. Because, yeah. There's stuff like tucked in everywhere and here's the thing if you miss something and it's important you're kind of screwed I mean unless you go all the way back but yeah if you miss something that you really need um yeah that's going to be a problem alright so let's go check over here mm, nothing but a wrecked turbine some copper but I doubt 
I might be able to get the ship to where I can salvage that. We'll have to see. Grab some more helium. All right, so that looks to be about it. Let me do a little bit of scrapping with the deck extractor, and then uh, the next thing is to expand the airship. I've got enough stuff now. The rooms are like uh, 15 metal and I want to say 30, 30 plastic. Um, and I think I've got enough. I want to do like want to leave the cockpit where it's at and maybe do like a three by three behind it that's like what that's nine might as well say ten just to round up so it's 300 of the plastic uh well the synthetics and then what 150 metal that's a lot of metal so, metal's fairly rare, and you'll notice you only get five. Oh. Uh, this is why I have this ready over here. Do I have any more food? Hmm. I guess not. Immunity is decreasing. Go on and drink our water just to make sure. Let me put a couple of things up real quick. Oh, apparently I missed this little shack down here. And a data card. A uh, glass floor. Ooh, it'd be nice for, like, landings and stuff. Uh, I'm already, like, bad with depth perception. Oh, I didn't miss the shack. I missed the uh, storage things beside it. See what I'm telling you, man? See what I'm telling you? All right, let me, uh, let me see what I can get with the deck extractor. All right, so the rarest material by far, so far, seems to be glass. Glass seems to be, and it's also really hard to get in position to get glass, because it's usually here. Like, you can't see it, but there's a little sliver of something, I don't think it's glass, right there that I can't get. But anyway, uh, so let's disassemble. Let's get our... Open our fuel tank, take this out. We're probably gonna need to sleep after this. Pick that up. Somehow I ended up with two engines. I don't know if I need them or not. All right, so I wanna leave this and then expand out. Well, this is the idea into a square behind it. Kind of like that. All right, let's move some of this stuff. All right, we've got all of that put up. So it wants us to build a wall on the airship. So I'm going to get in the build menu and see what we have available. Uh, just a plastic wall. Did I put up all of my... No, I didn't. Why didn't it want to let me? Ah, because I need some metals. That's what it is. And I did put up all of my metals. All right, there we go. Plastic ball. Put that up. And I found this and was wondering. There we go. Get a little bit of decoration in there. How about that? All right, so research and craft the location radar. The location radar. I need five copper. Well, you know what? I just happen to have some copper somewhere in all of this stuff. All right, thank you for that. Uh, location radar. Wait for it to do its tech stuff. <laughs> Do you like my sound effects right there? I liked them. <laughs> All right. So what does it take to make one of these things? Circuit board, copper, and glass. Displays locations and navigation points. That sounds sick if we can get a map. It sounds like a map to me. If we can get a map, that would be... Yeah, that'd be sick. Okay, that, that's going to take a minute. Uh, why don't we look over here? I'll show you what I got. 
right now as far as inventory um i will probably get some more metal we have so much uh synthetics right now that we're not going to need synthetics for a while oh you know what i forgot to do i forgot we're gonna have to move the ship forward i forgot to put the oh um yeah i forgot to put the engine on there so i thought for a moment i was screwed um because i couldn't get back there but luckily they have foreseen my idiocy and uh made it possible where's my i moved my fabricator okay give me the location radar we also need some fuel we're almost out so is the location radar do you like put it oh that's why they wanted me to put it on the wall oh that's why they wanted me to make a wall so uh, let's do this we'll put the poster down as far as it can go and then we'll put our location radar Ooh, look at that does it find coordinates for under dust location reach the exclamation mark on the radar the under dust Ooh. so i wonder are the red ones the ones we've already been to and they're showing red because we took the battery very possible very possible all right uh what are we supposed to be doing oh yeah we're supposed to be reaching the marker um i think i've got just about all of the quote-unquote specialty type resources like glass and copper out of here uh we do need to drink we'll go on and do that that will let me wait do i already have dirty water i do have dirty water so and we need to sleep that'll let me get this and then fill that back up let me sleep real quick there we go and let me make an insect lure uh it's under food so that i can um i guess we would call it fishing i can fish for insects uh in between the communication stations oh wrong thing open that up stick our lure in there um and go out here and put some fuel in and we're ready to go that's 81 fuel all right looks like it's straight ahead let's go see you guys there so apparently ow uh you can take damage by the way from debris depends on the speed of your airship there was a pop-up about that so look at this we are traveling towards one of the red dots so perhaps those are the ones that we have not been to yet and the ones that we've been to maybe disappear off the map um i don't know yet but apparently I'm trying not to crash the ship. All right, so we need to line up to be able to shoot that building to get glass or other resources. Bring it down nice and easy. And there we go. And it is so nice having all this room in the ship. So yeah, so if we look ahead and to the left, do we see, yeah, we do. Okay, so the red ones are places that we have not discovered yet. That is a lot. So I guess we'll hit here, 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 and the farthest one first and work our way around? Probably. I keep hitting the escape button thinking I need to hit it to get out of menus, and uh, yeah, I don't. All right, get up here in the beacon and get the battery. All right, there's two shacks down here, but one of them I can't get in unless I use the extractor 
and break down some of the um, the walls. It's a closed building. Get all these electrical elements, machine part. Again, I just keep thinking if you miss something that you're supposed to get, like to build something, yeah, you're kind of screwed. I mean, unless you can find it. I mean, I guess now that the, it's less linear now. Yeah, that's true. Now that it's branched out. All right. So I cleaned up all of that stuff. Let's get down here and take a look and see what was inside. So it looks like I'm able to reach through the bars. There were some electrical components in there. Um, I forgot to get something to drink, but there was a sun melon, so... We'll go on and drink that. It'll give us photophobia, but I'll eat an insect and it'll be okay. All right, we are done. We are going to head again in the direction of this next one. I am going to stop in between this time and fish for some insects. So I will see you guys when I get there. Okay, this may seem like a common sense thing, but no more flying during the storms. Man, uh, we, I'll throw in a little montage, but man, we got cooked in that storm. I, I have no repair kit, no more patch kits left. I don't even know if I have any. I'm hoping there's some here. Our deck extractor's broken. So, uh, yeah, let's check this out. No more flying in storms. Not at all. All right, let's hope there's some patch kits in here. Oh, my gosh. Data card, what did we get? Metal wall. Okay, that'll work. Give me that, give me that, give me that. I need patch kits. Ah, there we go. How about another one? No? Okay, that's fine. One will do. One will do. Yeah, I burnt through eight of those every one I had and stuff was still broken. So it looks like it... Do I have dirty water? I do. So it looks like like your ship can take... Like it told me it took critical damage and it had zero health. So it took like two repair patches to get them uh, back up to full health. Um... Uh, Let's see what it does for the deck extractor. Deck extractor looks like it's pretty fried, too. 50% health. Isn't... Can't we research? We can. What does it take to make them? Synthetics and metals. All right. Do your tech thing. Do I have synthetics and metals on me? I do. Research finalized. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's make a repair patch. Printing completed. Ooh. Uh, oh, you get five of them for... Oh, that's nice. Um. Okay, well, let me look around and see if anything else uh, is broken. Don't see anything. Wait. There's one. Anything else? Anything else? All right. Doesn't appear so. Uh, I've gotten everything from here. It doesn't look like there's much of anything on those shacks. And plus, you know, I can't get lined up for this one. All right. So uh, we are headed. I thought I saw. Yeah, I think that's where we're headed right there. Is that... Is that like our path or something? Okay. Calm your farm. Calm your farm. I will drink. Uh, okay, I just said no flying in a storm, and, um... Well, shit, I guess we're doing this thing. We, we can make repair patches now. All right, uh... We got hit, took a little bit of damage on the way... We are at another double light location. Looks like we got plenty of copper. 
to scrap down. I don't see any mechanical parts or anything. And we got a couple of rooms down there. All right. One side of the ruined turbine with some mechanical parts. A mm, couple of helium bottles. A oh, couple more helium bottles. Grab our battery. A couple of more, you guessed it, bottles of helium. Not a lot of loot in this particular place. Most all of the containers are empty. Well, except for the other shack, which seems to be full of stuff. Circuit boards, those are good. Those seem to be rare. Patches, I mean, that's less good now. I mean, less important now, but... Ooh. Canned water. Uh, I tell you what, let's put this one in our hot... Oh, why can't I put that in my hot bar? Hmm. Tell you what, I'll eat the food, and then we'll just drink the water. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so I've been through the place. Uh, there wasn't really that much stuff. Um, I mean, we got the battery. Batteries are always good. They're like, you only find one per location. So it's always good to have those. I did get a little bit more glass. I would like to make a glass floor. I wonder how that works. So glass floor. Diseases might become more severe. Ah. Wait, where did my... Oh, it's... Oh, that scared the ever-loving crap out of me. I thought I broke my ship because my console disappeared. There we go. Now I can judge. All right, so where are we going? Um, wow, it is beautiful now that it's clear. Look at that. Nice, beautiful sunrise. Nice, nice. All right, so let's look at our map and see where we're going. Uh, basically, straight ahead. I was going to go to that question mark. There's a question mark behind us. Is it that? Hmm. All right, well, we'll check the other question mark out first. Seems to be straight ahead. So I'm going to lock this and guys, I'll see you when we get there. Oh, by the way, check that out. How dope is that? Ah, love the game. All right. Um, so I, we passed like within shooting distance of one of those question marks. So, I stopped. And it notified me that devices need scanning. So, I'm figuring that is what the question marks are. When you when there are technologies or items there that you have not scanned yet. This is cool looking. So, this is like a big, like, double, I don't know, a lily pad type arrangement. I don't see any loot in there. Mm, I see, like, some veggies. Like, I wonder if we can grow food later on. Anyway, give me these sun melons. I'll always take some free food, and like we say, and just eat an insect, man. It'll fix you right up. Oh, my God. No. Whew, I thought I fell off there for a minute and did not. All right, our first little shack. A little bit of repair. Some electric elements, machine parts. Uh, not really sure if I want that condenser membrane. Might come back for it anyway. You know, uh, you should never turn down free water. Uh, simple insect lure probably do need it. I'll probably have to drop some stuff off in the uh, in the airship and storage. Okay, so 
I'm running out of inventory, so let's go on and eat these sun melons. Go on and get the virus. <laughs> we also need to sleep pretty badly. So as soon as I get back, I'll do that. All right, that is all of that. So uh, I still haven't figured out what I need to scan. Well, there we go. Thick creepers. Tool required knife. Biomass fuel. Interesting. So can we research a knife now? All right, let's re... Polymer. Hmm. Haven't seen that at all. So, yeah. I don't think we've got any more storage. Uh, let me make a couple more storage chests. All right, guys. So I forgot to um, even say anything when I left. Uh, we are on our way. So there is the exclamation mark. I am not stopping. I've already been recording for quite a while now. I'm not going to stop at that one. We're going to head. I think it's that. What the? Oh, that's the photophobia. Um, I am going to fish a little bit on the way. So, uh, yeah, I think that's the green one that we're headed towards. See you guys there. All right. So the game had different ideas about me not stopping here. Um, there is a storm. So I am not going to take the ship through it and get it torn up. So we might as well go out here and grab a few things. Um, electrical elements and a, a lightning strike right in the middle of me talking to you guys. Looks like it's going to be standard fair loot, but you know what I'm saying? Um, standard fair loot is better than no loot at all. And I'll always take some patches and all that good stuff. Uh, plus, if I can get the ship in position, it looks like uh, I can get some glass out of this. And, you know, we'll get a battery, which is never a bad thing. All right, I'm going to wait the storm out, and then uh, I will see you guys. So I believe that's it right there, the triple lights, and they're green. We haven't seen anything like that before. So I'm going to assume that that's where we're going. Well, 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 the storm has cleared, and look what we have in front of us. That's quite interesting there. However, I'm concerned that we may not have enough altitude to land. I don't see any landing spots yet, so let's get over there and find out what's going on. All right, guys, so... Those platforms are higher than we can go, which means that we are going to have to expand our air shift and do some lift for it. So I have landed at a communication station nearby, and we are going to pick this up next episode. So guys, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I am enjoying the shit out of this game. I am telling you. So... Uh, next time we come back, we're going to expand the airship. We're going to land over there and find out what else is going on with the rest of the story. Also, we seem to be in this really cool place. We have mountains now. There's like some weird tree looking things over there. Looks like this place may even have like maybe biomes or sections or something like that. So anyway, I'll see you back next time, guys. I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with the community. If you don't mind a like and subscribe, I appreciate it. And also a very special thank you to my Patreons. I couldn't do this without you. You guys have a good one. Peace out.